My name is Tara Nonovan. I'm the Senior Director of Venue Services, and I've been with the Mets for 12 years. As a Senior Director of Venue Services, I oversee a wide range of responsibilities with the club. My main focus is overseeing the concessionaire relationship with our partner, Airmark. My department also oversees promotions, the design and ordering of gate giveaways, Amazon memorabilia, the tenant relationships on Seaver Way, along with the City Field Tour program. It's a great to look back and reflect on how far we've come, but I think there's still a long way to go. And I think that that's one of the most important things that we need to, to focus on. You know, I have a niece that just turned a year old and my hope is that one day she's in 30 years not sitting here talking about how far we still have to go. It's how far we've come and everything's equitable. And my hope for the future is that when we have a female vice president or a female general manager in baseball, the headlines become more about what a qualified candidate it is and not about just gender. So that's really my hope. And, you know, I think Women's History Month is a good reminder, like I said, of how far we've come. There have been great advances, but we still have a lot of work to do. The goal of SheUnit as a part of the Mets front office is to create a safe space for women to share their stories, share their experiences, empower each other, and just really be a sounding board um, for each other within the organization. One of our goals also though, is to grow the female footprint within the club and advance women into positions of power. One of the ways that we try and accomplish that is by bringing along our male allies. So our group is not specifically just for women, it's for anybody that wants to join and to learn more about what the, the struggles that women face in our industry, but also to find ways to advocate for each other. I grew up in a sports household. The Donovans are a baseball family through and through. I played softball for a little bit growing up, but uh, stopped in, in high school and really shifted my focus to a sport management degree in college because I really wanted to work in sports. Took four years of school at Cortland, uh, majored in sport management and Spanish, and ended up landing an internship here in 2009 under Jay and Shannon in the media relations department and never left. By far my favorite was our World Series run in 2015. The excitement around the team and, you know, overseeing a lot of the game day elements, there's nothing like a playoff atmosphere in New York, especially with Mets fans. So that was probably my favorite moment as a Met so far. Connect with everybody that you can. You never know who could help you get your foot in the door somewhere. I would also say get as much experience as you can. Volunteer. Even if it's not a paid internship, take it because the experience that you get and the connections that you make will help you advance your career. The other thing I would say is, is don't be afraid. This is obviously a male dominated industry, but there is a place for everybody both on and off the field. So I would say no dreams too big. You know, keep, you gotta keep your head down and you gotta work hard. You have to be willing to put in the work, but there is a spot for everybody. And I hope that everybody sees that, you know, no matter, race, gender, age, I think that it's important to keep following your dreams. I mean, when I was a little girl, I wanted to be a sports agent and I was lucky enough to have parents that never told me that my dreams were too big. They said, okay, if you wanna do it, you gotta work hard, you gotta put in the work. Um, so I, that's my hope is that everyone understands that there's a place for everybody in the sports industry. It's not just for, for men, but you gotta be able to put in the work and you have to make connections.